getting ready to uh, plant these uh, Dunstan chestnut trees. Um, this was a, a project that I started back in early winter. Um, I went with the Dunstans because they've uh, been crossbred to be disease and blight resistant. Um, wanted to add some, uh, some nut bearing trees to the property. Um, something that will produce year after year unlike the oak trees that you know are pretty hit and miss. Um, anyways I purchased the nuts on eBay. Um, kept them in cold storage for several months in the refrigerator over winter. Planted them uh, early spring under a grow light in the basement. Um, I had more than this. Um, I'm down to six now. Um, I gifted uh, I gifted a few plants to some people. Um, and uh, anyways, I uh, I just got done building the cages to protect them. Um, didn't bother to uh, bore you with all the details of that, but it's just half by half uh, grid wire, um, two foot height, ten foot rolls. Um, I had some of the uh, the green coatings left over from another project, so I used that. And um, we're using the uh, fiberglass step-in posts. Um, they're a couple bucks a piece at Tractor Supply. Zip ties, set of dikes to cut the, snip the zip ties off with when they've been pulled tight. And um, shovels already on the cart. So we're going to load this stuff up and we're going to head up into the backfield and get a few of these trees put in the ground. All right, I'll uh, bring you back to it when we get started. Yeah, what I've decided to do is, uh, uh, right here where my shovel is, is um, 20 yards from my uh, target holder. Uh, and then you have uh, another stake at 30, another one at 40, and one beyond that at 50. Um, I've decided at the 20, 30, and 40, this is going to be a great place to um, plant some of these trees. And um, they will always serve as a yardage marker as long as my backstop never changes. So... I'm um, going to go ahead and uh, get digging here and we'll get some of these trees in the ground and I'll get back to you. Put the first one uh, set in the ground, cage around it, uh, stake in. Just going to fasten the uh, protective cage with a few zip ties to this fiberglass pole and uh, super excited to see where the growth ends up on these guys. Um, what you see right now, this is just one season of growth that was started in my basement and then they were moved outside um, when I was sure we were done with frost. Um, and uh, spent the rest of the year in these pots that I originally planted them in. So I'm hoping that uh, they'll soak in good this fall and uh, take over in the spring and, and just really really do wonderful things so um, been a fun project um, just actually seeing if I could you know get the seeds to sprout after the the cold storage that you're supposed to put them through and so on so anyhow the deer and the rabbits will not be getting these ones 